Wellington Airport is one of the hearts of um, the region. We facilitate travel, we facilitate people coming in and out and enjoying everything that Wellington is able to offer. Us having a safe and efficient runway is the start of that journey. Every about 10, 12, sort of 13 years, the runway surface itself just starts to show some signs of wear and tear. And as part of our asset maintenance strategy, we look to resurface it um, to make sure that you know, aircraft and planes can run smoothly um, and without interruption. So the runway is 2,000 metres long. Um, we're replacing 1,800 metres of it. There's 35,000 tonnes of asphalt to be removed and replaced, which is the equivalent to about 78, 747s. Well, the project we say is a partnership, and so Becker is our engineering partner and Fulton Hogan is our construction partner. And the three of us have formed a partnership for over about 20 years, working together to deliver and maintain the airfield assets. So the project's what we class as after curfew, so it's after the last flight and before the first flight. Typically, uh, for a runway resurfacing, from the inception to delivery, you can be looking at 12 to 18 months. And once we start on site, we're looking at about a six, seven, maybe eight month construction program. Originally, it was planned for another year or two from now, in about um, 2023, but with COVID, I guess, never waste a good crisis. We initially started the discussions with the airport just as we went into lockdown. A lot of planning and a lot of discussions. Everything had to take place over Teams and, um, and Skype. And we've you know, been able to speed this thing up quite significantly just by working together. With the lack of international flights, we have managed to get the construction window down to about three or four months. There's two main parts of the runway resurfacing project. Well, we're currently conducting the resurfacing portion of the works. Once the last flight's arrived, we then move the air side and um, we start milling. So milling is like a big garden rotary hoe. It's two metres wide and it removes the asphalt. The old runway asphalt is then trucked out to another location in Wellington where we are able to reprocess the asphalt and reuse 100% of the material that's come off the runway into other roading projects around the Wellington region. Once the milling's been progressing, we uh, can start putting our membrane seal down. The membrane seal's uh, sprayed bitumen and some sealing chip. That progresses throughout the night and then the paver and the asphalt chase that across the mat or across the, the work area. Once the uh, paving's been completed, we have the line marker who comes in and read line marks everything ready for the first flight in the morning. Once that surface has actually had a little bit of time to cure, we come back with a second part, which is the grooving. It's like a saw cut groove cut into the asphalt surface every 36 millimetres along the runway. One of the key functions of the grooving is that it helps water to get off the surface so that you don't get that interaction of uh, water sitting between the tyre and the pavement. So Wellington Airport is in a really, really unique environment. We are uh, deep inside a residential uh, neighbourhood, so our construction noise is actually a prime consideration for how we do these works. So right at the outset of the design phase, we basically schedule the work so that any noisy works are actually brought forward in the shift. So we manufacture all of our asphalt off-site at our Belmont Asphalt plant. That reduces basically the amount of manufacturing noise. And then we also schedule our methodology. So if we stock millings on site each night, they get carted away during the day. The key success factor for us on any sort of airfield project is actually if the public never knew that we were ever there, um, that is what success looks like to us. It's been a challenging year, which obviously goes without saying, but being able to deliver and find opportunity in what this year has been has been really uh, enjoyable and I think something that, that our whole team can really be proud of.